Let's fix if your cellular data is not working on your iPhone. Now, if you're trying to use cell data, I'm going to walk you through a few different options to get that fixed so that you can connect to that cellular network and use any of your data. So the very first thing that we'll do is we'll head into our settings and we're just going to toggle on airplane mode and then wait a little bit and then toggle that off. You can see at the very top right that disconnects from cellular network, your Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, everything and then reconnects to everything. Sometimes that helps. We're going to go over to Wi-Fi here and we're going to toggle that off because we want to, of course, make sure we're on cellular data to be able to test and see if it works. Now, after you've gone through those steps, we'll tap where it says cellular. And you can see at the very top, it gives you a few options. Cellular data, I would toggle that off for a bit and then toggle it back on again that will reconnect to your cell data plan. You can see under that is cell data options. I'm going to tap on that. And it says data roaming here. I have that turned on. You want to make sure where it says voice and data. I have 5G auto here and data mode is standard. If you're on date, this low data mode, then potentially that could limit how much data you can use on your cellular network and it might just not work very well. And then let's go back over here. Once you've done those different steps, let's restart your phone by just tapping and holding the volume up and the power button. So then you'll just slide to power that off and restart it and see if that cellular data is now working. If it's still not working, we'll go through a couple different steps. We'll tap on general here and then scroll down and we're going to tap on transfer or reset iPhone. And then we're going to tap on reset and tap reset network settings. The second option there that will remove all of your network settings and reconnect you to your cellular data. And a lot of times this fixes any issues. Now, the last step you can go through if you've done all of these different steps is we'll go up and go to about here. And when you go to about, sometimes your carrier has a firmware update where they send signal to your phone and it will update the firmware for your carrier settings. If that just pops up when you're on this about page here, make sure you go through the steps of updating the carrier. If all of this doesn't fix it, you can of course try to remove your physical SIM card from your phone. Maybe it's a corrupted SIM card and you might need a new one from your carrier. Hope this helps. Thanks for your time today and I'll see you in the next one.